Hello and welcome. This video will show how to make a histogram of an asset's returns step by step. In this video, we will download the closing prices of an asset, find the periodic daily returns for that asset, and create a histogram of the periodic daily returns. Go to Yahoo Finance. Type in a ticker symbol into the window. For this example, I'm using GLD, the gold ETF. Click on historical prices on the left column. When the page loads, enter a time period. Common choices are one year or the entire life of the asset. Make sure daily is checked and click on get prices. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on download the spreadsheet. Open the download and delete all but the dates and the adjusted closing prices. Your Excel spreadsheet should look like this. In the cell to the right of the latest closing price, enter equals, LN for natural log, open parentheses, click on the closing price for that day, backslash for divide, click on the closing price for the previous day, close parentheses and enter. That gives the periodic daily return for that day. Click on the cell again. Click on the bottom right corner and then drag all the way down to the second to the last cell. This gives the periodic daily returns for all the previous days. Let's make a histogram of the periodic daily returns. There is more than one way to do this, but I find this way fairly simple. With the periodic daily returns still highlighted, or highlight them again if necessary, right click and then click on copy. Place the cursor into another column, right click, and click on paste special by choosing the selection that just shows the numbers 1, 2, 3. This pastes just the actual periodic daily returns rather than the entire formula so we can sort them. With the periodic daily returns still highlighted, or highlight them again if necessary, click on Sort Smallest to Largest in the toolbar. The next step is to create a bunch of equally spaced bins to separate the data points into. Each bin range is the range for one column of the histogram. For example, if we were graphing men's height, we might make the bins 7.5 inches, 8.5 inches, 9.5 inches, and so on. Then each bin would cover one inch of height. One bin would cover from 7.5 inches up to 8.5 inches, and the next bin would cover from 8.5 inches up to 9.5 inches, and so on. Therefore, we need to look over the range of periodic daily returns, and decide how many equally spaced bins that we want to use. For this example, we'll start the first bin at negative 11%, and space the bins by a quarter of a percent up to positive 11% for a total of 89 bins. Now let's click on the percent sign and change that to percent, as well as the first one. So now we have our column of periodic daily returns, and we have our column of bins. We need to highlight a column of boxes that contains one cell more than the number of bins we have. For example, we have 89 bins, so we're highlighting a column of 90 cells. With the column of boxes still highlighted, click on the bar and under Equals, Frequency, select all the periodic daily returns, hit Comma, select all the bins, and now at the same time hit Control, Shift, Enter. This sorts the periodic daily returns into the bins, or put differently, tells us the quantity of periodic daily returns that fall into each of the bin range. With the values still highlighted, or highlight them again if necessary, click on Insert, Column, 2D Clustered Column Graph. This gives us a histogram of the periodic daily returns for GLD. Click on the graph, right click, and click on Select Data. Click on Edit, 
Select all the bins. Click OK. Click OK. This makes the bin values the x-axis. We can click up here and change the color, make it a little easier to read. And there we have it, a histogram of the periodic data returns for GLD. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.